everyone welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited my name is Lalita and today in this video i am going to discuss about digital communication trainer system and its order code is 2223UN0175.28 and with the help of this operator we can transfer the information from one entity to another entity now I am going to giving you an overview of this apparatus. In this apparatus we have different blocks for the benefit of users. Firstly we have the transmitter block, then we have the receiver block, then we have the controls block in which we have different switches, home switch, master reset switch, run or stop switch, horizontal position switch, vertical position switch and variable switch. Then we have the card 1, card 2 and this is the internal mode PC mode input switch. Now we will start the experiment and before starting the experiment I will connect this PC to this digital communication training system with the help of USB cable. Now we will start the experiment first ASK modulation and demodulation. First of all, I will open the Scientix 2137 software from the desktop. And we will provide you this software link in the description from where you can install this software. I will connect it. Now we will start the procedure step by step. First of all, I will select this ASK from here. Then I will select analog channel. I will select TP11 and CH2 at TP18. Then I will click on configure and then on waveform. You can see the result on the screen. Now we will do second number experiment FSK modulation and demodulation. First of all, I will select FSK here and we can see the block diagram of FSK here. Now I will select the analog channel CH1. I will select TP17 and CH2 TP18 and then I will click on configure and then on waveform. You can see the result on the desktop. Now we will do the experiment DQP SK modulation and demodulation. Now we will start the experiment procedure step by step. First of all, I will select DP DQP SK modulation from home window. And then we can see the block diagram of DQP SK transmitter receiver along with test point for the corresponding signals from modulation to be analyzed. Now we will select the analog and digital test point to be analyzed and press waveform button. I will select CH1 at TP16 and CH2 TP18. Then I will click on configure and then on waveform. Now we can see the result on the screen. start the next experiment pi by 4 qpsk modulation and demodulation first of all i will select pi by 4 qpsk modulation from home window and then now we can see the block diagram of pi by 4 qpsk transmitter receiver along with test point for the corresponding signals from modulation to be analyzed and then we will select analog and digital test point to be analyzed and press waveform button i will select it tp14 and ch28 tp20 and then we'll click on configure and then on waveform 
you can see the result on the display now we will start the next experiment for m array f s k modulation and d modulation first of all i will select m array f s k modulation from home window and after that we can see the block diagram of m array f s k transmitter and receiver along with the test point for the corresponding signal from modulations to be analyzed and then we will select analog and digital test point to be analyzed and then we will press the waveform we will select the ch1 to tp17 and ch2 tp20 then when click on configure and then waveform you can see the result on the screen start the next experiment to 8 qam modulations and d modulation first of all i will select 8 qam modulation from home window and then you can see the block diagram of 8 qam on the screen and then i will select the analog channel ch1 at tp6 and then i will select the ch2 at tp18 then i will click on configure and then waveform you can observe the result from the display this is the result the next experiment to 16 psk modulation and demodulation first of all i will select the 16 psk from the window and then you can observe the block diagram of 16 psk from the display now we will select the analog channel ch1 at tp 17 and then we'll select the ch2 at tp22 and then we'll click on configure and then on waveform you can observe the result from the display we also can generate the output with the help of the dso so i will connect the negative side of the dso to the ground and positive side to the carrier generator you can see the result on the display of dso it showing the waveform i also can connect it to the numerical controller oscillator you can see the result on the display of the dso so with the help of this dso we also can observe the waveforms So that's all the demonstration which is given by me. If you have any query related to this apparatus, you can go through the link which is given in the description. And if you want to know more about it, you can go through the lab manuals. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.